Yesterday, we interviewed RNZ RSA guest, Arthur Driver, the newly elected president of the Palmerston Waihimo RSA. While new presidents are elected all the time within the RSA network, Arthur's appointment is particularly notable because he's just turned 96 years old last month, making him possibly the oldest elected president in RSA history. Arthur was stationed in Fiji during World War II serving in the Air Force and has been involved with the RSA since 1946. So here it is, check out our interview we recorded with Arthur earlier in the week. The interview and congratulations on becoming the uh, Palmerston Waihimo RSA's president. Um, but before we get to that, can you tell us a little bit about how you became involved with the RSA? The meeting RSA, that was in 1946. So um, I stayed there until I shifted up here yep. in uh, 2015. Okay, and what and what were the types of things that you did with the RSA? What, you know, what was the what was the attraction there? Well, gone now, but uh, it was uh, the RSA building. It was in uh, in Murray Place, and uh, we had about three stories. The Tin Hat Club was one of them. We had one of the RSA to belong to the Tin Hat Club. Tin Hat Club held concerts and everything else in the town hall. The um, DCC used to give free use of these things. A lot of uh, various uh, uh, things there on. Local and even some overseas people. And um, then, unfortunately, the Dead Hat Club sort of disappeared. I don't know what happened. And and that was and that was the basis of the RSA. Obviously, was to was that camaraderie, that post-war camaraderie, and 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 obviously the um, the support and welfare functions that were done at the time as well to to help to help veterans coming home, and and and, and that that sustains today. But how do you think things have changed over the years in that respect? Oh, I don't think it's it's got uh, different. Um, I'm afraid karate is not really there again. It's not. It seemed to be when they, when the members or the armed force members got uh, low, they opened it up into um, um, civilians that had uh, parents who served in World War One or Two or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, it seemed to be a, they had an experience where you relied on your brothers in uniform. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, okay. So what made you decide to run for president at the, at the ripe old age you are? That you're just, <laughs> what, what, well, made, what, what made you get involved as a, as a president of an RSA? Then um, I served on the committee, and um, this time uh, nobody put their hand up to be president. Here, Arthur. I picked up the president last year. I'm going to do it again. Sign on the bottom line, please. <laughs> <laughs> so you ended up taking the reins. All right. Well, thanks very much for uh, spending your time or giving us your time today. Um, it was a real pleasure to speak with you. Um, and, uh, and I hope you have a good day. Thanks very much, Arthur. I hope to see you up there at uh, Wellington. Yep, you certainly will.